and welcome to LPEP, the music quiz show that knows all the coolest bands like Deadmau5, Kimbro and AC forward slash DC. With me as always, team captains Adam Knox and Beck Russo. Adam's first guest tonight has a solo comedy show called Anatomy and it was all about the biological composition of the human body. She's the first comedian to admit she actually knows where the clitoris is. It's Victoria Healy. Adam's second guest has a degree in engineering, a background in teaching physics, is an accomplished carpenter and is also one of Melbourne's best comedians. The fact that he is co-runner of the studio in which LPAP is filmed has nothing to do with the fact that I'm kissing his ass. It's Andy Matthews! <laughs> Beck's first guest tonight, as well as being a talented musician, is a red belt double black tip in Taekwondo. She's the only singer-songwriter who can break their own guitar's neck. It's Laura Imbruglia! Thank you. Beck's second guest tonight is an APRA award-winning songwriter born in Shepparton and still knows where he came from. That's why he hasn't been there in years. From 8-Bit Love, <laughs> it's Vito Lucarelli! <laughs> Andy, pleasure to have you here. How are you going? Uh, I'm good. It's great to be here. That is good. Um, you've got a, a wonderful podcast out. It's called Two in the Think Tank. That's right. Who do you yes. do it with? Uh, I do it with my friend Alastair Trombley virtual who mm -hmm. I believe is also on this show yes. at some stage. And, uh, yeah, it's just a bit of fun. Have guests on? Great. Okay, what's it about? Uh, it's, uh, we try and come up with five sketch ideas. So okay. it's just, you know, mucking around trying to come up with a funny concept, basically, and we shoot the shit until that happens, and we stick it out <laughs> until it's done. <laughs> and where can we get the podcast? Of the internet. <laughs> Vic, pleasure to have you on the show. How are you going? Good. You've had a wonderful run of shows with the Anatomy uh, One. How did that go? That was great. You know, did Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne Comedy Fest and it was epic. 40 shows. Whoa. Yeah, that was a lot. Is that the longest, uh, sorry, the most amount of shows that you've done for a single piece? Of yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a solo show coming up in the 2014 Melbourne Comedy Fest. I do. What's it about? Oh, God, you don't ask a comedian in 2013 <laughs> what their show's going to be really? in 2014. Do you know what it's called? If I say something now... I will be committing to it. That's so true. Do, do, do you want me to commit to it? Because you will see We it. can print a retraction. <laughs> oh, can I commit? I want to commit. Do I it. want to commit right here, right now. Okay. 2014, <laughs> Just Melbourne the Comedy camera. Festival, Victoria Healy, four. Four? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's a pretty it's... ambiguous name. Can I just ask, is it the fourth show that you've done? How <laughs> did you know? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Laura, how are you going? Hi, I'm Will. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, what a treat, the most recent album that you've put out. Uh, but you put it in a puzzle box? You put a puzzle box with it? Yeah, and a puzzle. And a puzzle? Yeah. Doesn't that make it difficult for people to actually get into the box to listen to your music? Uh, it's shrink wrap, so they have to take the plastic off, yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that the puzzle? The puzzle is that it's in shrink wrap or the puzzle is it's inside a box? It's quite puzzling if you've never encountered shrink wrap. <laughs> 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 but otherwise, it's fine. Vito, you've had an a EP come out in 3D, which went extremely well. Yeah, no, it was really sweet. Um, just something that we wanted to do, really. And we were in the car one day and we were just like, let's make it a 3D t-shirt and it's like, no, screw it, let's make a 3D EP. So, yeah, it comes with, like, glasses and all that stuff. It's a lot of fun. And now you've got a triple single yeah. uh, that's come out. Yeah, we're kind of taking the piss, really. Like, a lot of bands are, like, putting out double A sides and okay. AB sides and double B sides. <laughs> so we're doing... We're, we've, we've put out what we call the ABC side. <laughs> <laughs> Our first round tonight is Hits and Giggles. Each team will watch two artists' music videos and then pick one as the answer to my question. Beck, Laura, Vito, let's take a look at yours. That was Josh Pike with Leeward Side and Kimbra with Come Into My Head, but whose EP was left in a warehouse for half a week due to an admin error ruining their streak of high-charting albums. Beck, Laura, Vito... What do we know about Josh Pike and Kimbra? Um, OK, well, Josh Pike's had oh, quite a few albums, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's been around he's been for around, yeah. been I guess it's, it's safe to say he's been around longer than Kimbra. Yeah. Yeah. Kimbra, sure. even though Kimbra started at a very young age. When she's like, yeah, started when she was 16. She's yeah. She's like, I mean, like 21 well, now or something. Has like she ever had an EP or has she just had yeah. albums? Because I, I know for Ooh. a fact that Josh has had EPs. Yeah. That's she must have done a demo well. or something like that. She probably did have But she got, she got success quite... Like, easy, not easily, but, like, with that one album, it's very high. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I, I think I that's how the critics refer yeah, to it. Yeah, it's a very high album. 
<laughs> yeah. And I just don't think people would snooze on on uh, Kimbra's thing being left in a warehouse because because she yeah. she was she's more. I just feel like there wouldn't be snoozing happening after the and Gautier I don't, I don't remember there being like a big demand. There'd be all these people there going, oh, no, we've got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't remember there being a big demand for any Kimber EPs and stuff like that as well. So high charting albums. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think I think we're going to go with Josh Pike. Josh. Okay, Josh, yeah. locking it in. Yeah. Mr Pike. You're right. It was Josh Pike that had the winning streak shattered by paperwork. Josh Pike's fan club, Friends of Josh Pike, are expected to hit a thousand community members this year, while Friend of Adam Knox are still waiting to go plural. <laughs> That's one point for Beck, Laura, and Vito. Very well done, guys. Adam, Vic, Andy, let's take a look at yours. That was Hiatus Coyote with Nakamura and Ballpark Music with Surrender, but which one of these two artists found themselves on a photo shoot with a diuretic crazed sheep? Andy, Adam, Vic, what do we know about diuretic crazed sheep? I did my thesis in diuretic. <laughs> <laughs> there um, was, was the sheep, like, very enthusiastic about diuretics? <laughs> yes. Or was he had, oh, suffering yeah. from diarrhoea? Suffering from diarrhoea. Okay. Um, Hiatus Coyote's video that we just saw then was a lot more like they were out in the, in the wilderness and it was very... It looked more likely ah. for there to be an animal. It could have been a sort of an animal region. That uh, hiatus but coyote, it's got an animal in it. <laughs> so yeah. this is the kind of stuff okay. that we normally get. Yeah. They took a look at the video See, and just went, well, you guys, it's in the outback. It's speculation. It's them. <laughs> See, this is where you guys went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You've just got a hypothesise based on very small amounts of information, which for me is the band yeah. name. Oh. Okay, and what is it? Sabbatical hyena. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, a great I band. did add the word diuretic. There was nobody on set that diagnosed <sighs> okay, okay. the thing. Okay, well, that really threw us off. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us which... Oh, no, you couldn't because that would give it away. Never mind. Um, <laughs> the feel, free to, feel free to ask me a question. I'll just reserve well, the right I, no, to No, I was going to ask you what video was it in, but then obviously I, it would be for one of the different bands, so I would just know the answer. It wasn't in either of those videos. Yeah, it okay. was on yeah. a photo shoot for a tour. A photo okay. shoot. One of those I have two. a question. Yep. Was the sheep in the photo shoot or did it just show up? <laughs> <laughs> it was in the photo shoot. It was supposed to be there. And was, was it supposed wrangled. to be shitting? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, they took about 300 takes just to get one that didn't have any poo or wee in it. <laughs> Blue Lines had a sheep in it, that film clip. <laughs> that would have been a very different film clip. <laughs> <laughs> If that sheep had had the shits. I, I'm not saying it would have been as big, but it definitely would have found a niche. <laughs> Maybe there's more sheep in, in the state of Victoria than there is... I love that um, we're approaching this. Either way. The sheep, <laughs> the sheep yeah, distribution Queensland. angle. Because... because Queensland has a lot of bananas and mangoes. We know that. We know that. <laughs> we know that. These are facts. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to press you, Adam. As team captain, I'm going to need you to make a choice. It, I, I think it's ballpark music. Please. Okay, we're happy with that, Andy. Ballpark so music. So happy. happy with that, Vic? I'm happy. Washing your hands of the decision? Yeah, no. yeah, if you're wrong, a fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lucky it in? Uh, yeah, ballpark music. You're right. It was yes. ballpark music shooting for their thank yous tour that eventually oh. took 300 shots ah. to just find one that didn't contain the animal's remains. So that's one point for Adam, Andy and Vic. Our next round is called Just Waiting for a Mate. Adam, Vic and Andy are going to interrogate Beck, Vito and Laura about a fact that could belong to one of them. Adam, Vic, Andy, was it Beck, Laura or Vito that furthered their career through a slip and slide accident? <laughs> Officer Healy, Officer Knox, Officer Matthews, if you'd like to begin your interrogation, starting with Vito. Okay, uh, Vito, what was the accident that happened when you were doing the slip and slide? Um, basically, just was going for the run up and just kind of used the front half of my body instead of the middle half, which you kind of meant to slide oh. on, and mm. just kind of like ground the face along the slip and slide. Was it not wet? Yeah. No, it, it was. It was. Plenty wet. Doesn't matter how wet it is if you yeah, face plant. Yeah, you <laughs> face plant on a slip and slide. Yeah, it was quite brutal. Okay, yeah. was this a domestic slip and slide or a commercial slip and slide? It was. It was, was, one you made it was for a commercial. Oh, it was for a commercial. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, that's weird. What were they advertising? Not slip and slides? No, they were advertising. Really? You were an advertisement for slip and slides. <laughs> yeah. How old were you? Oh, I was much younger. So how did it further your career? This is an advertisement. They ended up actually using it. And it was, you, ads were very you, different in the 90s, weren't they? Just they? Cut, <laughs> cut away before the... Just uh, slap <laughs> a child, put it on the air. Yeah. <laughs> Kids these days are too spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you better be careful and go to bed or I'll buy you that slip and slide. <laughs> on TV. Um, well, let's go to Beck. What, what was your injury? Oh, I dislocated my shoulder, actually. How? It was at a music festival. I went to Falls Festival, 0910. Yeah, 0910. Good year. Mm. Good, Good year. year. Um, and there was a slip and slide, and I dislocated my shoulder. Got it back in. Yeah. And um, <laughs> which yeah. is why your arm is permanent. And <laughs> so, stuck like this. Now. Right. Yeah. And would you say this furthered your going to the 0910 Falls <laughs> Festival? Career? No, uh, I actually wrote. I was do I actually wrote a review of the festival and um, in that festival in that review with your other arm I didn't yeah. assume <laughs> <laughs> I was after I came back from the festival right. I wrote the review and then that actually got me a internship at a writing place I'm 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 actually happy with all of those answers because well, I'm, I'm uh, how about and, you, Andy? And it, it makes sense because it is a Falls Festival. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy a lot of that stuff <laughs> going on, right? Yes. That would have been a whole angle for that argu article. You could have gotten 800 words out, bang. <laughs> it was a bit more than that, actually. <laughs> how much? I, it was a long article. It was In what magazine? It was an online magazine. What, online it's called website. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very popular status update. It was a long update. status, yeah. <laughs> Many likes. Yeah. All okay, right. okay. Moving that on sounds to, plausible. Moving Laura, on mm. how did you hurt yourself on a slip and slide? Uh, I had a face plant. Okay. Face plant accident. Um, also at a music festival. It's like a combination of both of them. <laughs> it almost sounds like um, you're making it up. It's a mashup. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, um, I actually... To be honest, I didn't. It, that was the pretend story. Mm. So um, I had a patch fest with this guy <laughs> at a music festival, and um, and you referred to it as a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh on. wow! And uh, oh my god! And there was a bit of. I ended up with a bit of a patch rash. Like I woke up the next morning and I was like, "Oh, um, my chin hurts," mm -hmm. and um, it was really hot. And my ha my patch rash had started to sweat. Um, <laughs> Sweaty patch it, rash. It was disgusting. Yep. And I sprayed it with um with like one of those water sprays like uh, at the hairdressers because you know how people buy them and. A bit of a them. spritz, why not? Yeah, a bit of a spritz to cover up the the uh, thing that was happening with my chin, and uh, it got infected. I got a staph infection, and it turned into this like gross pussy scab on my chin. And so um, I turned it into a song. And I, yeah. <laughs> what was the song called? I, I still haven't explained the slip and slide. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Sounds like I'm just oversharing. <laughs> um, I had to call in sick to work because I looked messed up. Okay. Um, and I took a photo and told my boss that I'd had a slip and slide accident because I didn't want to tell him. Oh. Oh, I've got something weird on my face because okay. I had a patch fest. Wow. That is by far the most entertaining story. Yeah, mm. that was like the, the cloud atlas of... <laughs> <laughs> it started one slide. place and then it ended up completely... Yeah, I didn't see those stories linking, but yeah. I don't think it's Vito. I don't know why, but he seemed like he was lying. Beck is an amazing liar. It's Remind me of what the story, story was again. It was the. It was the. Um... I went to Falls Festival. I dislocated my shoulder, and I wrote a story about, it and that pretty much got me an internship. See, that okay. makes sense. That, yeah. in terms that, of advancing your career, that really that really works. makes sense. Oh, the only flaw in her story is that there was a the 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 article was more than eight hundred words online. <laughs> I've never read more than one hundred and forty characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That is the flaw. That's the one flaw. I feel Beck. like it's Beck, but yeah. she's. A great liar. Beck. This is really it's, hurts. Yeah. I'm gonna say Beck and then I'm gonna hate myself. But yes, Beck. <laughs> oh, I, it, Beck. I think it was Beck. Beck. I think Beck. it was Beck. Right, lock Beck. in Beck. Yeah. Beck, Laura, Vito, if you'd like to reveal which one of you uh, furthered their career through a slip and slide accident. I did. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No way! That is one point to Laura slide. Beck and Vito. Very well done, guys. Our next round is called Head to Head. It's Russian Roulette with balloons and teams will buzz in with melody pops. Vic, Vito, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. If you'd like to sound off, Vic. Vito? 
Bonus point Whoa. to Benio Lucarelli. <laughs> holding a tune. All right, we ready to rumble? Yep. Yep. I'm going to put my balloon in this hand because, Vic, I think you're going to do very well in this. Oh, thank you. No problem. And I've got a fear of balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. What does LP and EP stand for? Oh. Veto. Long play and extended play? That is correct. God. Can you can you just do it quickly? Okay, just go, go on, one, two, three. Oh, oh. okay, good. All right. Easy. Easy done. You did it on two. And I'm glad you asked that question because I don't know. And now I know. <laughs> <laughs> question number two. Name any one of the young divas. Vito Lucarelli. Uh, Ricky Lee. Ricky Lee is oh, one of the young... Oh, those guys! Yes, yes. <laughs> oh! If I name another two, <laughs> will you give me a... No. Oh, okay. Actually, just for, I might give you a bonus point if you can name the other four. Um, uh, she's the one who's on all the ads at the moment. <laughs> Her second name starts with M. Jessica Malboy. Yes! No points. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, just do it, just do it. Okay. All right. The expression on Mike's face when he does that is fucking terrifying. That's joy. Hey, you said you wouldn't put it near me. Oh, but well, it's, it's, it's on, on you now. Yeah. What, what do you mean? You have to get something right or he has to get something wrong for it to move over to him. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> that's extra pressure. All right, all right. Question number three. Did William Shatner call OMC's How Bizarre the first, the 31st or the 71st Greatest one-hit wonder of all time. Vic. First. 71st. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did that. I had no idea. <laughs> all right, all right. Ready? So, OK. Just do it. Come on, just stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is intense. <laughs> Question number four. In which decade did video hits start? <laughs> The 80s. The 80s is correct. Yeah. Yeah. 1987. You ready, Vito? I guess. That's pretty oh, close to my ear right now. Pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty close. Oh, oh, damn. All right. Question number five. <laughs> if there was a supergroup called the Ruds, name two Ruds that could be in it. Old K Rud. Yep. And um, maybe Paul Rudd? But Paul they're Rudd? not musicians! <laughs> <laughs> said name two runs that could be in it. When has it... Wait, wait, so... <laughs> OK, all right, fine, bring it on, bring it on. I'm going to keep my eyes open for this one. Maybe oh, don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> really? Do you, is this the one? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, no, I'm ready. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. You could have had Kevin Rudd. You could have had Xavier Rudd. You could have had oh, Paul Rudd. Right. You could have had Phil Rudd, drummer from ACDC, or from NASCAR, you could have had Ricky Rudd. Cool. Doesn't sound like a very super <laughs> group. Like... Yeah, it sounds like they wouldn't be that great musically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready, Vic? Yep. <laughs> oh! Bad luck to Vic. Very well done, to Vito. Well done. Well done. They've gone head to head. Our last round is the budget round because we've spent all of our money on balloons. Beck, Laura, Vito, because you are in the lead, you're going to go first. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. Okay. Your time starts now. Boys, looking for love, a young man needs violence. L licking, licking guitars. Yeah. Licking guitars. guitars. Yeah, the others, Dukes of Winds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Assassin bug, tiger beetle, cicada locust, fire ant. Uh, or... Dragonfly, Ladybug, Weevil, Dung Beetle, Lord Ho How Island, Stick Incest. Incest, Laura Imbruglia. Whoa. Nice. Um, higher, higher, let me go. Take a breath to... Face the road. Bad taste, 8-bit love. Uh, we were rolling around in my bed and I let myself get all kinds of naked. You didn't even remove a single sock. I wish I'd seen it as the blatant metaphor it was. Ain't done yet, Laura Imbruglia. Take a break, take your time, make or break, give or take is what you're thinking. 
Uh, take a note, take a page, take a book, take a look at what she's hinting. Jeannie, 8-bit love. Harsh Dylan songs are now my vice. I don't believe you and don't think twice. Harsh Dylan songs, Laura Imbruglia. Uh, life is one big game to her. Um, walls around are closing in. Hands say clap, clap, 8-bit love. I just like to rock the boat, 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 rock the boat. We love it! Rock the boat, 8-bit oh, love. <laughs> Adam, Vic, Andy, you need six to draw, mm -hmm. seven to win. Okay. Your time starts now. It's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll. Yeah. It's a long way to the top, ACDC. It's a long way to the shop. If, if you want a sausage roll. If you want a sausage roll, <laughs> Australia. Really? Everywhere you go, always take the weather, the weather with you. The weather with you, crowded house. Talk, 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 like, 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 like. That, 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 that. Talk like that, the presets. If you treat me like a dog. I'll shit on your floor. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. That's a... I'll act like a dog? No. Is, it, is, that like, is that like a Britney Spears? Maybe I'll bite you. Powder finger. Maybe I'll bite you. Oh, um, I'll growl. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like That's how they sing it. She's doing it. She's doing yeah. an amazing rendition. If you treat me like a dog. <laughs> like a dog. Like, is that it? No, like a dog? I'm going to pass it over. If you treat me like you a dog. Oh, no. You don't know it. I don't, no. I and you... keep me locked in a cage. Like oh, a dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you should consider That's having quite... sex. With me. All the time. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> with comedians. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> you should consider having sex with a... Rock star? With a... With a... Lead Tom singer? Dong. With a... <laughs> with a with a little less enthusiasm. You should consider <laughs> having sex on the bed. Okay, get a with, with, with a bearded man. With a bearded man. With a bearded man. Oh, the beards. The beards. Okay. But you didn't have to cut me off. You didn't Make have out to like kick it never happened. Out. Make out like oh. it never happened, and that you were, and that we were nothing. That's but. better than he sings it. <laughs> uh, somebody that I used to know, Gautier, and I don't even need your love, but you treat me like a stranger, and that feels so rough. Somebody that I used to know, Gautier. Very well done, guys. So. Oh. At the end of our final round, we had Adam's team on a whopping 14 points. Yeah. And Beck's team on an even bigger 16 yes. points. Yeah. A huge thank you to Lauren Brulia, Vito Lucarelli, Victoria Healy, and Andy Matthews. That's it from us here. You've been watching LPEP. I've been Mike O'Donoghue. Have a good one. Yeah.